The Blue Yeti is a powerful and easy to use microphone that has several options for capturing audio. The Yeti plugs directly into a computer's USB port. Headphones can be plugged into the mic to monitor the audio that is picking up. The Yeti can be set up in a few different ways, including right side up and upside down. Either way will record good audio. The Yeti captures sound from the sides rather than the top. The front of the mic has the logo, headphone volume knob, and mute button. The light on the mute button should be solid when recording. A blinking light means the mic is muted. On the back of the mic are the gain and pattern knobs. The pattern knob is used to switch between the four pickup pattern modes. The first option is stereo mode, which is good for capturing acoustic guitar, a group of singers, or audio that will have different levels in the right and left audio channels. When using this mode, be sure the recording software is set to record in stereo. The second pattern is omnidirectional, which captures from all sides. This is ideal when recording for a group project, such as a podcast. The third pattern, cardioid, only captures audio from the front of the microphone. This is perfect for voiceover projects or one-person podcasts. The final pattern is bi-directional mode, which captures from the front and back. Use this mode when recording two people, such as for an interview. Use the gain knob to increase or decrease the recording volume of the mic. Room setup and mic placement affect audio quality. Place the sound panels between the presenters and the bare walls to reduce reflections or echoes. The panels should be close to the presenters to isolate sound. For groups of three or more, set the Yeti to omnidirectional mode and place presenters around the mic. People who speak loudly should be placed further away, while people with softer voices should move closer to help achieve a good audio level balance. When recording alone, set the Yeti to cardioid mode and place the mic 4 to 10 inches away from the presenter's mouth. Use the arm to reposition the mic as needed. Silence all phones and keep them away from the mic as it might cause interference. The Yeti is now set up and ready to record. When recording, monitor levels and make adjustments to the gain knob and microphone placement as necessary. Remember to record a test take before recording a full project to see if there are any audio or technical errors. The final step is to set up the recording software. Refer to our other videos for instructions. If you need help, email itech at plu.edu, visit the help desk, or call the support number.